This is my sister's Honda VTX. She uh, traded in her uh, Suzuki Boulevard for it, and um, she kept the saddlebags off of the Suzuki, and she wants to have them installed on this one. Um, she finds it bigger, and uh, she has more room to store things. So, uh, we have to customize some brackets. We have to remove a few things off of here, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So, let's get started. So as you can see, we took off uh, the old brackets, the seat, the uh, old saddlebags. And as you can see, there's only two anchor points on here, these two holes right here. Um, so I'm going to have to make a bracket of some sort. I'm going to have to anchor it to the bike and then uh, figure out how her new saddlebags are going to go on. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it out of wood uh, first, just to get a pattern, of course. Uh, so I'm going to cut it out of wood, drill all my holes, make sure everything fits. Then I will transfer that pattern over to some stainless steel metal. We'll paint it black, match the seats and everything. Uh, should be an interesting project. So here's the uh, original saddlebag off of her uh, Suzuki and uh, she wants it mounted on, uh, on here. Uh, this is the bracket here, and um, it just fits into a groove on the back of the saddlebag. It just fits into a groove uh, molded in the back. So, uh, but you can see that if I was to mount using the existing hole at the front, if I put this here, the saddlebag will be hitting the shock, so it would be sitting way up in here, and we just don't want that. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to have to mount this side of the bracket to the middle hole. So if I did put that to the middle hole right here, it's still hitting the shock absorber. So um, the only way, I can't move it back anymore because of the tail light, I can't move it forward, I'm going to have to raise it up uh, about an inch just so it clears the shock absorber. So that means this bracket is going to have to go about an inch higher than this mount on the bike. So we're going to have to place it about, about here. Now, the only two access points I have on this bike is this front one and this middle one. This back one, uh, it doesn't line up anyway with this part of the bracket, so um, I won't be able to use it. The original hardware that came with the bike, of course the bolt, the chrome-headed bolt that went there is, who knows where it is, previous owner may, uh, may have thrown it out when he mounted the, the luggage racks on. So. Um, I'm going to have to make a bracket that's going to be bolted onto these two holes and then another two holes to put this on. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make it out of a piece of wood just to get the pattern down. And then once I have that perfect, then I'll transfer it onto another medium, uh, metal or whatever. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I measured approximately 15 inches from a little bit in front of the bolt to a little bit back here, about 15 inches, a couple of inches high. So I just took a piece of MDF wood and I drilled my two holes to mount to the bike and one inch up will be where this bracket is going to mount onto. 
So for now I'm just going to use the long bolts. They're too long for this job, but I'm going to use them just to, just to hold things together. So if I put a bolt in here and another one in here, well, you can see that the saddlebags are going to be at quite an angle here and uh, I don't really want that. So um, maybe I can actually use the hole that the bracket was going to be on that will make this nice and smooth right here, nice and level. So, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo this piece of wood. Actually, it might be better for me to do it on SketchUp. I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to draw this out on SketchUp. Um, graphic program. So, uh, so let's go do that. So as you can see on the SketchUp drawing, the bottom right uh, screw hole is going to be the one mounted at the front of the bike, uh, the one towards the front of the bike. Um, then one inch above and off to the left will be the other access point to the motorcycle. And then one inch above that you will see that will be the first hole, the leading edge of the saddlebag bracket. And then back from there you will have the second hole for the back end of the saddlebag bracket. Now, as you can see, this piece of metal, this, this box that you see here, is now 4 inches high by 15 inches wide. That's a big chunk of metal. So, um, that's just too big. Uh, however, if I just simply join the circles together, then that makes it a much slimmer, better looking, flowing piece of uh, material. And again, it is back down to two inches in, uh, in height. So now I'm going to take this pattern, I'm going to print it out, I'm going to glue it onto a piece of wood, and I'm going to cut it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I cut out my first pattern. I say first pattern because this is the first one that I had made downstairs, but I found that uh, it just didn't seem beefy enough. Plus, I noticed that when the second hole is right above the first one, um, I wanted it to be a little more offset for two reasons. I really wanted the bag to clear the shock, and also when you put a bolt through here into the motorcycle, um, I didn't want the bracket to touch the, the bolt uh, head, so I would have either had to uh, put a spacer here to bring the whole thing out, and I found it's just simpler to move it over an inch. So, that was my first one, this is my second one. The hole is the same, everything is in the same position, except the two top holes are moved over by an extra inch. So now, um, well of course these bolts are way too long, but I'm going to uh, put a half inch spacer in between. I'm going to put it on the bike. I'm just going to use the dowel on here because of course the saddlebag is going to fit on top and these other bolts are just going to stick out way too much and, uh, and it, uh, it'll prevent the bag from, from going on. So uh, I'm going to use a spacer and a dowel just to hold things in line. You can see this is where the bracket's going to go. It's going to fit right here like this. The saddlebag will go from here, so you'll see this part of the bike eventually, and it will fill the bag here. Now, we have two other bolts, again, too long, but they will go through a couple of holes inside the luggage rack. This bracket goes in behind and the whole thing gets clipped right here. And this is what ultimately it will be. Now, there's my pattern. I'm going to make two of them, of course, one for one side, one for the other side. And I'm going to make it out of either mild steel, painted black, or um, make it out of stainless steel. So if it does get scratched, it won't rust. 
So I'm going to go and see about that. I'm going to have to find some new bolts. I'm going to have to figure out the threading on it and find uh, the proper length bolts. Uh, also, uh, a friend of mine at work, was uh, a fellow biker, was um, suggesting that maybe I could make this bracket, this adapter plate here, uh, out of plexiglass. Uh, quarter inch thick plexiglass, either clear so you can see the fender, see the chrome behind it, or black. That way if it does get scratched, you won't even see it because it's black all the way through. Uh, neat idea. I may try that first. I can try it both ways uh, just to see how it is. I don't know about flexing and uh, you know I don't want it to crack when she's on the trip. Uh, so I don't know yet. But uh, there's my pattern. So now we're going to start doing the final product. At least my sister can take the bike now and go. She won't have the saddlebags because I'm going to still need the hardware but she can go riding. So we'll uh, go on to the next phase. Thank you.